Alright guys, we're here with a new voice dialogue scene in SAO UB. Now, I totally forgot about the first one. I mean, I didn't really pay attention to it. I mean, I probably skipped it. I saw it, but I didn't re even watch it. But apparently it's fully voiced, so let's see what's happening.今日はいい天気ね。こんな日はきっと飛んだら気持ちいいわ。本当に雲一つない青空ですね。こんな青空は珍しい。ね、ちょっと遠乗りしない？こんな天気ならきっと龍たちも喜ぶわよ。遠
Not a big fan of them, but they are good and they are beneficial. Obviously, I got one. I was already number one. And when I got Alice, it just made me fly past, right? I mean, I was at like 11%, basically. Or not. I was at 8%, rather. And then, without even, like, how should I say it? Without even thinking. It's almost like I auto-played it, and I still got like 11%. But when I played for Rio, I got 13.76%, way past everybody. Which means getting the limited edition new character is beneficial. But, is it worth it? I don't know, I mean, even without Alice, I probably got like around 10%, maybe, right? I mean, it's with Alice, autoplay, I got 11%. And, I have a lot of characters. Obviously, I don't feel like I should throw them away, because some of them are 120, like this one. Because, what the heck, right? But, for the light characters... You know, there's Yuki there, there's Kirito, there's Alice, and then I have a Leafa there that's, like, lingering at 105. I don't even know if I should take it even higher. Because I need a person that's going to recover, right? Now, going down the light list, there isn't that many good characters. Gotta be honest with you, I mean, maybe she has become a great character now because she can add the barrier and everything, right? But, like... Even for, oh right, I didn't get the limited edition light character, which is why I don't have a charge character. Look, these two are break characters, right? You have Alice here, and you have Kirito right beside break, and then Yuki is a yellow charge character. Now, I don't have any charge characters, and I'm looking for a good, good, good charge character. Unfortunately, there is no good, good, good charge character that is worth taking to level 120. Unless it's a limited edition character, which means that, let me go back to the scout, or I mean the, uh, the thing, the two new characters here. And these are the two new characters. So, Kirito is a break. I wouldn't want another break character. So, I would want, uh, Asuna. Now, the problem with Asuna is, well, actually, this might be good, because, look, if, as long as your recollection field is step 3 or more, it increases by 30%. So that's kind of good. Right? Inkman is super strong. Anyways, that's my my opinion for my team. If you have all charged character, obviously you want a break character. But still, limited edition shit. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the limited edition stuff. It makes me feel like they're, try they're ripping me off. And... You know, I don't like being ripped off. 